This is Pastor Dave, and this is your Monday Mojo. Hope you had a good weekend. We had a good one here at Chapel Hill. Today I want to talk with you about collateral gardening. See, uh, over the last couple of years, I've planted a garden right out back of my house here. And it's, it's really the only place that I have that gets enough sun that I can plant a garden. But we live in a pretty wooded area with a lot of critters, right? And the squirrels like to come and pilfer my tomatoes. They'll grab it off the vine over there and they'll come over here and they'll stand on the swing and munch on a tomato. And I've watched this happen from my kitchen window many times thinking, dig nevit. Now, the tomato harvest has been plentiful the last few years, so I didn't worry too much. I thought, well, we're helping the squirrel out, right? Many of you know that this spring has been a little bit of a medical challenge for me. And so um, I was not able to get out and plant my garden. But last year, when Mr. Squirrel was sitting here chomping on this tomato, the seeds from that tomato fell down here to the ground. Look at this. This is a start. There's another one over there. I think a third one there. So now I've got myself at least two tomato starts. I don't know how well they'll do. It's pretty far along in the season, but it all happened because of collateral gardening, because the seeds fell from the tomatoes that this guy was munching, and he wasn't planning on planting them. They just did. It hit me. We have this amazing seed ourselves. It's called the gospel. A gospel literally means good news. And you know what the good news is? God is for us, not against us. And to show us that, he sent, him, sent us himself, Christ Jesus, to show us how to live, to show us how to die, to show us how to live again. And that's a message that, that all of us who have put our hope in Christ have. It's a seed. It's a powerful, powerful seed that I guarantee you that even if we just haphazardly go about life and drop it in places, it's so powerful that collateral life can happen. To be sure, it, it, it's, it's even better when we work with the process. But just like the sower who went out and just threw seed everywhere, if we allow the gospel, the good news that God is for you, not against you, and that Jesus Christ is his greatest sign of love for us, to just flow out of who we are and drop wherever we go, we never know what kind of life that might bring. Thanks, Mr. Squirrel, for stealing my tomatoes and in a haphazard way planting new ones for me. I suggest we do the same. Anyway, that's your Monday Mojo. Hope you have a good week.